Are you considering marketing your business by being a podcast guest? If so, then you want to watch this video, which is part two in a three-part series on how to create an awesome podcast pitch. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Shaw, business coach for self-employed business owners, host of the Self-Employed Life podcast and author of Lingo and the Self-Employed Life. Your podcast pitch will make or break your opportunity. It's incredibly important. And as a podcast host at the time of this recording for more than seven years and having broadcast more than 700 episodes, I'm going to give you the inside scoop on how to craft the right podcast pitch. So step number one with your podcast pitch is first you have to get clear on what your core messages. What is it that you're going to bring to the show, to the audience that's going to serve the audience? When you craft your pitch, the first thing you need to do is in your pitch is explain how you're a fit for that show. This, my friends, is the biggest stumbling block for people sending me pitches. I receive about a dozen pitches a day and rarely does someone start off by explaining to me why they're a fit. Usually they start off by being braggadocious and telling me all about who they are and what their credentials are. And you've lost my interest after the first sentence. You have to hook the podcast host by letting them know what value you bring and how you're a fit for their show. Now, it's wonderful if you can listen to every podcast or at least a single episode of every podcast show that you want to be on. That's great. But quite honestly, if you're on a book tour or you're going to be you know, marketing pretty aggressively by being on a lot of podcasts, it may not be possible. I will tell you as a host myself, it doesn't bother me if you've never listened to my show. It bothers me if you don't understand my, who my audience is. My podcast is called The Self-Employed Life. It's not hard to figure out who my audience is. So when you make a pitch, you need to immediately explain how your topic has value to an audience of self-employed business owners. The show itself has holds a responsibility. The name of the show, the, the description of the show in, in the app should be clear enough so that you understand who that audience is. If, if it's not clear, then you know what? That's the fault of the show. Yes, it's great if you can listen to an episode or two, but it's truly not necessary. As much as it's necessary that you make an understanding of what the fit is. So that's step number one. Step number two is chances are they may have, the show may have covered that topic especially if it's a mature show like mine, 700 episodes, I, there aren't too many topics that I haven't covered. So what I need to hear from you, what the host needs to hear from you is what you bring different to that conversation. What I refer to as your unique perspective. And yes, there's another video here on my channel about unique perspectives. So you'll want to listen to that. But you have to explain to me if your topic is email marketing, if your topic is uh, you know, some other form of maybe a lead magnet, some other marketing strategy, whatever your topic is, chances are it's been covered. So you need to point out what your unique perspective is, what different value you can bring to it. And by and large, you have to understand hosts are incredibly busy. There are very, very few hosts make a living from their podcast. Therefore, their podcast is maybe part of their own marketing funnel, but it's a small part of a much bigger business. Therefore, they're short on time. So you want to make sure your pitch is concise, clear, and gets to the point. You would not believe how long some of the pitches are that I receive. I open every pitch that comes my way just out of a courtesy but I, I delete it immediately if it's more than just a couple paragraphs because I'm not going to read it. So keep in mind the podcast hosts you're reaching out to are short on time. Keep it concise, keep it clear, let them know right up front how they're a fit for your show, how you're a fit for their show, what unique perspective you bring, then you can give your credentials. But it's like anything else. Don't talk about yourself first. 
Understand the audience, the host cares first and foremost for their audience. So they want to know how you're going to serve their audience. So keep it short, keep it concise, make sure you point out how you're a fit and what the unique value is that you bring to the conversation. Make sure you check out the other two videos in this three part series about how you can be an awesome podcast guest.